So this is the hot tub boat. And the only reason I know it's here is because I was getting a kayaking course, like right next door. and I saw these boats going by and my mind was blown. It is such a simple yet unique idea and it's only here in Victoria. I invited uh, my mom and all my aunties and some of my cousins to join me on this special day here uh, for, for Mother's Day. So, I mean, you could, you could book this for any day, but I needed an excuse with a bunch of people and Mother's Day just happened to be available, so we're doing it. So, we're gonna get into our bathing suits and we're gonna hop in. Uh, we're gonna have so much fun. Okay. Oh. Alright, uh, so when you're ready, you can hit that silver button. Uh, 12. Bye, Matt. Right, have a great time. Bye, Bye Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Once we had our safety speech and the rundown on how to drive the boat, we were off. I was very excited to be sharing this activity with my family. I was made a designated driver since I'm the one that booked this lovely affair. Now, I've never driven a boat before, but you know, how hard could it be, right? Okay, you're oh. going a little bit. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. It's okay, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. It's okay, that's okay. Backwards, backwards. 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 It is. That's okay. okay. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. We're, we're trying to get out of the harbor and we can't. Turn around. I want to go this way, right? Okay. I want to go this way. So he said the opposite. Go straight around. Yeah. It's not going well. We're going to. I like how you fall. I want to go this way. <laughs> you were like, oh, they got it. And then. Yeah. Spoke too soon. Back on track, we headed out. other people it's actually kind of stressful <laughs> if I were to do this again I think I would just take it out and then put it in you turn it on when I need to like redirect myself during the ride my aunt and I took turns driving that way I could get a little bit of a relax because yes driving this thing was actually a lot more stressful than I anticipated for me anyway we have the boat for two hours, but after the safety meeting and getting your bathing suit on and getting in the boat, you realistically only have it for about 1.5 hours, which is more than enough time that you need in that boat before you feel like it's time to turn around and come back. It was a perfect mix of relaxation and adventure to make a wonderful bonding experience. Unique as that experience was, it was actually much more difficult than it seems. Like you get you get into the boat and because like you have the elements of the wind and having to like left is right and right is left when, when steering the boat, it actually became, whoever's steering the boat, it became a lot more stressful because you have to focus all the time. So I found that if you were the driver on that boat, you didn't really get to enjoy it like everyone else did. So like if you do it, either like take turns or bring someone along that doesn't really want to be there that's fine going along on the journey and you just like pay for their ticket so that they can be the driver while you uh, while everyone else kind of like enjoys the boat. That was event one of two today. First of all, we're gonna go drop our bags and we're gonna pick up some more stuff to go on our second little like Mother's Day excursion that I have planned. Right across from the hot tub, uh, the hot tub boats is the Harbor Ferry Taxi. Now the Harbor Ferry Taxi has different points around the harbor that it, it can drop you on. So if you don't want to walk from point to point, you could hop the Harbor Ferry Taxi. I have taken this tariff ferry before in my What $100 Can Get You in Victoria video. The prices back then were a little bit less than they are now. There's almost double the price now of what I was paying back then. But um, you know, inflation. So we're, we're gonna take this to the to our, the place where we're gonna do our next our Mother's Day activity. Because it's Mother's Day, I only had to pay for me. So yeah, this is this is super great.
Mother's Day. Woo! So we made it to Fisherman's Wharf. Now, Fisherman's Wharf is a fantastic place to see the colorful houseboats along with like different restaurants and fun local foods. However, I decided to go uh, in a little bit of a different direction in terms of food. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a sec. We're gonna go find a place to set up and then I'll, I'll show you what I've decided. I'd also like to point out that my mother and I, we lived on the island, what, how, what, how many years ago? 25 years ago we moved here, right? Never been to Fisherman's Wharf. Never been to Fisherman's you were Wharf. Four. Ne never been here. Sad, sad. So it's a first for both of us today. I think it's so unique. It's like here on the Fisherman's Wharf, there's an area with uh, house houseboats where actual people live and um, there's a row where you can actually walk down and see the houseboats. Be respectful, of course, these are private properties, but there's also a houseboat that you can rent. It's a it's a, um, it's a b and floating houseboat. And I thought about renting it for my Mother's Day gift, but then I, when I saw the hot tub boat, it was just too good to, to pass up. So I'll have to do that on a later on a later trip, a later event, or maybe I'll go on a houseboat somewhere, not in Canada, we'll see. But uh, still, so fun. So right across from Fisherman's Wharf is like a little grassy knoll park area, and that's where we're gonna go have our picnic. Here yes. we go. Sit. <laughs> My legs. Take the bread out. Yes. That's right, we're doing a picnic. One of my friends, she's started a business where she would go to like local, different local shops and stuff to collect like the local honey or the the local olive. So instead of being a shopper for a big box store like Instacart or something like that, she's like a shopper for just a local store. She just started her business and uh, she's blown me away with the selection that she's had here. All I said was like charcuterie board and she's went above and beyond. Um, we are starving. We cannot wait to um, cannot wait to dig in. And I'll leave her link to her website in the uh, description below. This is not sponsored, by the way. I'm I'm strictly supporting the friends supporting friends and friends supporting local small businesses. So um, we're gonna dig in. Spectacular! Oh that actually exceeded expectations. I knew, I knew the security board picnic was gonna be like a fun, cute idea, but like it was so good. And the fact that everything that bought was like local and freshly baked and freshly made, it was just like, oh my gosh, it was so good. Also, uh, my friend also creates um, like local organic creams and body body butters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so she she made this cream for my mom, um, a nourishing antioxidant and regenerative. So. Uh, I'll also leave the link for that in here. It's a, what's that, green tea lotion. So, yeah. And with that, we're gonna hop back on the Harbor Ferry and head back to where we parked the car. That was one full day of like really, really fun adventures that I, I haven't done, my mom definitely hasn't done. So it was like the perfect excuse to be able to like take my mom out and experience something like new at home. I say it all the time. I love playing tourist at home. It's one of my favorite activities and this was most definitely playing tourist at home. Um, I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much if you made it this far and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Anyone want a houseboat? It's for sale. Houseboat? Victoria? Sorry, the what? The what? And the Luis Penny? Yeah. The they one. always talk, talk about, about she, she could to reforms. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Those... What board said again? No. <laughs> How do you say she could you? She could I don't know. You know what I mean.